Hello students, welcome to Saurabh Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve DSE 2015 question paper that is entrance examination for MA economics. So in our last videos we have solved questions up till 26. So now we are going to start with question number 27. So question 27, 27 says consider a government and two citizens okay so here we have a government and only two citizens very unusual but we need to maintain the questions rule so here we have the government has to decide whether to create a public good say a park at cost rupees 100 so government is planning to uh, create a public good maybe a park and the cost is rupees 100 so he the government needs to decide whether to make it or not so the value of the park is rupees 30 to the citizen 1 and 60 to the citizen 2 okay so the park will cost citizen 1 rupees 30 and citizen 2 rupees 60 now each valuation is private information for relevant citizen and not known to the government so government doesn't know these values that is the uh, evaluation that is each evaluation uh, so they don't the government doesn't know but each citizen knows itself so the government asks the citizens to report their valuations say r1 and r2 okay so the r1 is the uh, valuation of citizen 1 and r2 is the valuation of citizen 2 so we have been given the values of r1 and r2 where r1 is rupees 30 and r2 is rupees 60 60 this is for citizen 1 this is for citizen 2 now the it cannot verify the truthfulness of the reports okay so these reports are truth or not true or false the government cannot uh, verify the truthfulness so it decides to build the park if r1 plus r2 is greater than equal to 100 so if the summation of both the costs of citizen 1 and citizen 2 is equal to or greater than rupees 100 then only the park will be created now in which case citizen 1 will pay the tax 100 minus r2 and citizen 2 will pay the tax 100 minus r1 Okay, so we have been given the taxes paid by citizen 1 and citizen 2 in which case the park will be built. It. Now if the park is not built then no taxes are imposed. Obviously if the, tark, if the park is itself not built only then there is no point of imposing any tax. Now the reported valuations will be. So we need to find which one of these four will give us the uh, correct reported valuation. So as you can see here we have R1 and R2. So let's find the value of R1 plus R2. So this will be rupees 30 plus rupees 60, which is equal to rupees 90. And as you can see, it is 90, which is less than 100. But for making the park, the government's condition is R1 plus R2 should be greater than equal to 100. And here you can see R1 plus R2 is less than 100. Hence the park, hence the park will not be built in this case the park will not be built but if r1 okay so here we have r1 and r2 values 30 and 60 if they uh, tell the false and they decrease the amount of money the cost the cost they will have to bear for the park if they decrease the amount let this 30 be changed to 25 and let this 60 be changed to 50 and here we have been said that the government cannot verify the truthfulness of the reports so the citizens can obviously do this so here as you can see the summation of both will obviously decrease from 90 there will be lesser amount of r1 plus r2 which will again be less than 100 so in that case also the park will not be built so if they decrease the amount of valuation then there will be no change because the park won't be built then also but if they give higher values here we have rupees 30 and rupees 60 assume that r1 is converted to 40 or r2 is converted to 70 then it is possible to make the park because r1 plus r2 will lead to 100 but uh, the citizens won't increase their amount because they won't be liking to give higher amount of tax just for making the park we haven't in this question there is uh, the question never says that any one of the citizens one or two wanted to make the park wanted the park to be created so they so uh, general human behavior they won't want to give extra tax 
hence they won't increase their valuation and will uh, give their valuation to be 30 and 60 so that they need not give any more tax and the park uh, is created or not created won't matter to them so they will give their original valuations that is r1 will be 30 and r2 will be 60 so in options you can see option number d says r1 is 30 and r2 is rupees 60 hence the option number d is the correct answer to this question so i will like to end this video here you will find solutions to the further questions in our next videos